All right. Yeah. Just, just think about it. All right. Now this match, ha this, this set, these two played in winners finals, and Mr. E honestly just did a really fantastic did job. Did E win 2-0? -oh? No. Right. Uh, Venny had must have been two. Must yeah, I'm pretty sure it was two one. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it wouldn't. It would. It wouldn't be eleven eleven. Make a wish. Uh, if the uh, if that had been a two zero. -oh. Yeah. But regardless, this is grand finals. This is the end of it all coming to a head here. Seventy seven to seventy six. These guys are absolutely neck and neck. It's a big part of what we've seen them do, even in that winner set. But Venia feels like he has some momentum in him. You know, his hands are fresh. He just took out Don, had that amazing stocking. Oh, never mind. The hands of freshness squarely belong to Mr. E, as Yikes. he has that fantastic tech chase punish. Closing out that stock. Let's see whether he can do a lot with it or whether Venia can even it up immediately. Good job from Mr. E. He keeps himself out of the danger zone. Can he actually manage to get some percent here? How much damage does that ledge attack do? Who's? Uh, uh, I'll flip it, and then we can just watch it. I, I, oh, I got you. So Is that 12 damage? So he was at 10. Yeah, it does 12 damage. Wow, I didn't realize the ledge attack was that powerful. Anyway. Uh, it seems that Ledge Attack was the first thing that, uh, that, that Mr. E needed because all of this damage, all of this basically situation that Venia has been put through ever since. Oh my god. That's another stock gone. Venia has yet to take the first one from Mr. E. And remember, Mr. E is in winner's side. So if he wins this game, he'll be one match. Oh, oh. my. Oh. Man, that was, so, was scurry. So, like, normally I'm pretty sure that Venya being at that low of damage, he wouldn't have bonked off the stage, but because of, like, the increased knockback from E having rage, the, that, that would have been that would have been really unfortunate All right, for Venya. Finally, Jeez. Venya able to get that stock, at least the first stock, down for the count. But he has a huge mountain to climb, and Mr. E has just been playing so fantastically, especially off stage for the most part. That's what a lot of the times where Venia can get those big kills, and he's just not been afforded that. Instead, Mr. E is the one who feels like he's been commanding the off stage, as well as the ledge trapping, just been in control throughout this game so far. Venia getting a little bit of that momentum though. 110% on to uh, Mr. E doesn't feel too great. If he can take the stock out right now, right here, which he does. Ooh. Now this is a bit of a game between these two. Yeah, although come, comes right back swinging immediately, no putting him off stage. I like that dash attack. Oh, maybe not that one. Oh! Yeah, That's I, I, I respect did. it. He still. lost the winner's game to that, though. Yeah. I don't know if he necessarily should be doing that. It feels like Mr. E is respecting that counter very much. Oh, when I say I respect it, I respect uh, the way E is trying to punish it, not the counter. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> <laughs> There is nothing about Benny Iris. Yeah, no. In that situation, it's just you know, like it's like you got you got to make something happen. So I can respect it in that in that light. But like, I just respect the fact that like E is not going for the absolute hardest punish. He's just like, wow, if I actually miss, I will die. So like, every time he goes for like just the up B, it's just like, yeah, uh, I I might kill him. But yeah. All right, right now, Mr. E is one game away from winning Xeno 179, from defending the three-peat from happening. Yep, Let's keeping the three-peat curse. And I, that's, yeah, it's just been pretty consistently. Was it a, uh, is that the third game in a row he's beaten, Venia? Do you know if Winterside Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, win Winterside was a 2-0. So this, yes, three, oh. right now he's 3 0 he has yet to take a single game here. And I was so confident that it was a 2-1. It just was a very close 2-1. Uh, that's it. Uh, all right, 
solid back hit, putting him off stage. Oh, that was the same. He ended the winner set like that by getting that up B and confirming it into a back air. But this time around, no such luck for Ven. Oh, he's gone. Yep, really smart from Venia. Not gonna mess around. Just goes for the second the double tap with that hydro pump, and now he is in the lead here. See if he's able to do a lot with it. Going seems to be fishing for this dash attack. Then again, like even if a I've, a top player, even if they throw out that option like that, like twice in a row, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're fishing for it. It's also a matter of conditioning, of making their opponent fear the dash attack, so that then they could go in for perhaps another option. Good forward air from Venia. Going to be racking up even more damage. I love that down air, just spacing outside of the Mr. E's range. And this is just getting slipping further and further away. At least this game for Mr. E finally takes that stock. The reverse of that upbeat going to send Venia to the Blast Zone. This is not an unreasonable thing for uh, Mr. E to come back from, but it's definitely not the best position. And up smash the cat to the landing. And now we have a two stock to one. Venia trying to bring this to a game three, trying to at least get a score on the board, considering the fact that the last oh, three God. games have gone in Mr. E's favor. Oh, that's big! That's huge! And that's something that Venia has been doing more and more of, it seems. And it has been working out quite fine for him. That game two ended up being very decisive to the point where I don't think we're... Okay, we're actually going to have Smashville for the next game. Okay. Interesting. Why do you think? I do know that... Uh, wait, wasn't this where Venia counterpicked in, in the first set? Uh, yes, but this is also just, this is a good Lucina stage. Because, like, she's quick, so she wants that, man. She's just like, you can't get away from me. And she can, like, shark the platform And with her also, sword. sometimes it's the platform makes Venia's spacing a little bit awkward because he loves to do those full hops. And he has to make sure that, like, the platform doesn't get away with those full hops, you know? Kenny with the tip of that dash attack. All right, Venny is uh, starting off really well this game three. Ooh, very uh, nice. He can't make it back regardless. No. Yeah. With no jump, he is pretty much good as dead. And that's a huge, huge stock for Venny, that means. I mean, last... In game two, he managed to get a big early lead like that, and he just kept it throughout. In fact, he ran away even further with it. So, Mr. E needs to retaliate quickly and decisively right now. He doesn't want this game to disappear from him just like the last one. He does not want to give Venny a chance to reset the bracket. Oh, man, but the aggression right now from Venny, he's just staying on top of Mr. E as much as he can, getting little hits here and there to just continue the damage. <sighs> that forward smash, I like the idea of it, but the battlefield platform, oh, sorry, the smashville platform, rather, actually kind of backfiring on him right there. That's another stock gone, and he taunts. Wow, the Venny, okay, Venny has Venia's a certain mad. confidence right now. He does have another set to work with, but based on how the general trend of things, I am training to become a data scientist, and trend is one of those things you pay attention to, and then <laughs> uh, hire me, please. Uh, no, but it, oh, oh, okay. It's fine. Venia, it feels like he now has a real firm grasp, a sincere understanding of Mr. E's habits, the way that he's changed his game plan, changed his neutral. It was working out for a while, but right now it's looking like this game three is going to be a three stock. It goes for a grab release right there. 
I'm hey. looking forward there enough to do it. All right, a stock is gone. That's at least how a comeback would get started. Tons of side piece everywhere. Then you're getting a little disrespectful, but at the same time, that can always be a good mix. And also, like, it, think about it. If your opponent is, like, disrespecting you moving into the next set, yeah. it can really mess with your mentality. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Uh, but then again, you know what really messes with your mentality? If losing. you end up losing after having this big of a lead. Never mind. He's good. He's fine. Neutral air to forward air confirming for the kill. That's set one actually going to go for Venia, resetting everything. Who is that who's standing in his corner? Uh, I think that was MGW. Oh. Yeah, it is. Yeah, oh, that is. Oh, we got a haircut. Nice. Shout out to MGW, by the way, uh, with the quality Twitter content. All right, so we got ourselves a reset. True finals. True finals. Now, what adjustments, what sort of counter adjustments do you think Mr. E needs to make? Because he was doing really well for a while, obviously. But then, what what exactly changed in Venia's game plan? It felt like, at the very least, the spacing is no longer what it was. So, one thing that, like, Venia is really good at doing is just, like, completely switching up his movement style. Like, Everyone will say that like he's like uh, like all the time like a super aggressive player and like for the most part that is true but like the way he go he'll like go in and out like he actually has multiple routes on how to do that so what I think he has to do is when Venia switches up like that because like movement is so much harder to read than like approaches right so he has to just like kind of take that deep breath and go. All right, I got hit by this because of that, and uh, while it was working before, I need to be more receptive. Oh, he read that air Whoa. dodge, but... To get the punish. Oh I my god. Seal. Maybe he tried to go for a parry, but... Bro, I want to see the counter counter. Ooh, he's going oh super my god. Deep. That's one thing that Benny is definitely doing th differently this time around. He is pushing his advantage when Mr. E is off stage. Oh my god, the first hit of the Nair gave him enough knockback to actually combo that forward there, sealing out the first stock and evening the game up. Oh boy. It feels like, honestly, this is the first real even game between these two. Or at least in recent memory, it's a blowout one way or the other. But, yeah, this is the reason why it's so even is that these guys, once they get that hit in, they just do so Ooh. much damage. They put in so much work. That wow, that was a really laid fair to the ground. Going for a lot of these dash attacks. Nice. So he kept his jump. Uh, I like the counter read that Venya made. Oh my god. That's so scary for everybody involved. Yeah. That's really good adaptation by E. He is not, well, not adaptation, just like he's just being really collected with his uppies. He knows yeah. that when he does it, he, he can put himself in a bad situation. Oh boy. Oh, oh the counter actually coming into effect right there. Right. I love the directional air dodge to go off the stage. As you saw there, Venia wasn't quite able to catch up with him in order to punish with the back air. Yeah. And now Mr. E is the one on the no, ledge. What are you doing? Not like back? this. He's not dead though, but that might spell his doom. Nice! Oh my god, he held out. Oh, he's doing really good at just, like, weaving out to dodge the back airs because he knows that Venya's trying to trap him. He's not putting yeah. himself... This is, he's not going to overextend. This is absolutely one of those adjustments that he needed Ooh. to make, and after all of that survivability, it pays off. He finds a forward air, and now he is up a stock. Let's see if he's able to make this lead into something substantial. All right. He's, got, he's hit him with nothing but fares. Okay. All right. 22% on Venia. It's basically, this is just an this even game. And 
the fact that all of these stocks have been last hit so far, I think that's pretty much what we can expect for this one as well. The adaptation, at least, in terms of disadvantage state has been so <gasps> What? Okay, not Down. enough percent where he would actually spike to kill him. Ooh. So, so good read on that spot dodge. Venia is... Yeah, oh. He gets the read on that counter, actually killing him off of it. Suddenly, now, Venia is in the seat to get the three-peat. I am not about this. <laughs> good stuff, though. Oh, my God. He was one game... Just a little while ago, he was one game away from being knocked out of the tournament, and now he is up 1-0 in this true final set. He don't get overconfident. Benny is tricky. He's he's slippery. He's literally slippery. Yeah, he's literally, literally slippery. covered in frog oil. Ew. Prove me other. Prove me wrong. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> covered in frog oil. Change my mind. All right, game two, true finals. Venya on tournament point. This match, at least starting off a little bit slower than the other ones. You know, they're trying to space yeah. each other out, re-familiarize re themselves with the opponent's sort of play style, with where they want to be positioning themselves. That's not going to kill. He doesn't have a jump, I don't think. He's fine. Yeah, I mean, maybe Venia could have gone out there and... Oh, what are you more. doing? You're going to punish his roll in with an air dodge? All and right. That's the first stock gone. Whoa, Venia. he's taunting again. Venia is on track to turn this into a three-peat. Oh, Ooh. Oh, he, he footstooled him. Yeah, he footstooled him when he was on was the Was that ledge. on purpose? Uh, I, I think it was maybe option select. Oh, maybe, yeah. That actually, I think that's one of the parts where you would option select. Because I, I think if he had done jump, for instance, he would have gotten footstooled. You know? Oh, Ooh. no. Oh! Really good on fast. Good yeah. start to fast fall there. Preventing uh, Venia the chance to give him with a Hydro Pump at extremely low percent. Venia is standing still. That's the scariest thing you can do. All right. All right. Second stock. He's at 73. The, 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 Whoa! Oh, where was that DI? He's gone. That was really good. My curse. Uh, by the way, the scariest thing somebody can do is to text you, call ah! me, we need to talk. Ah! But Benny is standing still. Ooh. It's definitely a close second. Oh, man. Oh! I, I... Wow, jeez. Oh, and this percent is getting higher and higher. What a tech, though! He keeping himself alive here. Oh, but at what cost he's at not Oh! Oh! <laughs> you know, all right, so I will say, Venia's oh the short stature on Greninja has helped him out so much. Is he much. dead? No. Not quite yet. Oh! Yeah, that might be dead. That might be the set. No, that might be the tournament right then and there. Venia manages to get the three-peat after so long. This It has not happened yet. Finally breaking that curse. Venia is your Xeno 179 Grand Champion. Yes, he is. Oh, jeez. The curse has been broken. You know, if anything, it's probably the most fitting that it's Venia. Uh, like, if it was, like, Venia or Jen, because, like, those are the guys who, like, do the most. So, <sighs> if I got to give it to someone, give it to Venia. All right. All right. Yeah, uh, I know. I know. An interview? Good stuff. Now nah, we want we want we want to go home. He just looked me dead in the eye and did the three. Ah! Tell him, salty. <laughs> Don't worry, I've been telling. <laughs> that is the this is the first three, ultimate three peat at a Zeno from a single player. Oh God, he's doing the Fortnite dance. Oh no, too. he's become too powerful. <laughs>